everyone, it's Arnella. Welcome to my channel. Today is February 24th. It is two o'clock. I'm on my way to my um, appointment. This will be a four month follow up. I'm uh, curious to see if uh, the progress that I'm having on my baby teeth that uh, enough space has been made that we can actually go ahead and make that surgery appointment. So um, I'll definitely keep you posted and I'll keep you in the known so you guys can know what the doctor has said. bring this to your attention okay. my cleaning is coming up so I don't know if you need to coordinate yeah yeah that's actually good that you did that um, so just so okay so at the end I'll go ahead and try to okay. go ahead and bite down okay so we're at basically time point where you can have that done with Dr. Rask anytime. Oh, that's good news. That's awesome. Yeah. So we got some good space around those areas now. Um, so let's keep the spring or transfer mm -hmm. on the new wire. Uh, we're going to change. So you don't think that they're like, uh, con what do they say, that they can get off? Uh, yes, with the bone. Yes, with the bone. They yeah. shouldn't be. And typically, when an oral surgeon like him, when they're going in and putting the chains on those teeth, they're making sure that they're uh, not confused. And sometimes, if there are parts of them that are, they can free it up. They can, sorry, what? Free it up. Free it up, oh, yeah. okay. Make it so new, basically. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he would uh, kind of be looking at that when he was mm -hmm. in there doing everything. Okay. I went into the, I have braces too right now. Mm -hmm. And I went into this wire yesterday. Mm. And I was a little sore for a minute. Mm. It felt tighter already, like definitely. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. a barrel, like yeah. a, and I think even when you were putting it. Too. Like, I, uh, they're super thick wires, so you feel it almost. Is instantly. that why it hurt when you were pushing it in? Cause mm -hmm. trying to. Yeah. yeah, and it's thicker, so you have to kind of put a little bit more force to like with the, this wire mm -hmm. so thin, I can mm -hmm. shut the door and it, it can <laughs> kind of wiggle in there. Yeah. This one you have to really push in. But it also has to be all the way back mm. in there too for it to push
That was good. good. It's not pokey enough. Guys, I can't believe it, but a day has come. My orthodontist has said that I can go ahead and I can call my surgeon, Dr. Raska, and make that appointment to have my baby teeth taken out and start expose my canines. I can't believe that the time has flown. So December, January, February. So actually, this has been... This was faster than what we expected and thought. Um, it took only, so we're in February, end of February. So I put my braces on on November 2nd of 2021. So December, January, February. So like three months and ta -da, enough movements has been made that we can go ahead and have the surgery. <sighs> So yesterday I went into a new uh, wire, a thicker wire. This wire is going to give me more movement. And I just wanted to say my orthodontist assistant, she was absolutely right. This is giving me so much pressure and I'm so sore. Even when I'm talking and if my teeth hit against the metal of each other, it just gives such a unpleasant pressure. Uh, I'm going to go take it two Tylenols and that should help me it usually works for me um, when I take the Tylenol so it eases off the discomfort and the soreness just a quick update Tylenol did help me I'm enjoying now my cup of coffee so if you do end up having this type of issues take Tylenol so I want to give you an update on the surgery I did end up calling my uh, surgeon's office and they, well, I didn't hear back that day and then I spoke with somebody the following Monday. Um, the lady uh, that I spoke to, she told me the person who is in charge of scheduling the appointment is on vacation and that she will be back in seven days and then the she will call me once she talks to the my orthodontist and the surgeon and she has more information she'll call to share with me um, and she did end up calling me today which is March 8 and I leave for vacation for tomorrow and I will be gone for 10 days and due to the conflict and issue with the timing I will not be able to have the surgery until maybe end of the mid of a or end of the April so I will have to call her back once I'm back and we'll go from there she will tell me what date she has being that this is the surgery where they will have to call the anesthesiologist to come in um, it will have to be scheduled on a specific date and time that will work with the uh, local anesthesiologist that they work with he doesn't work out of that office uh, he works for one of the local uh, hospitals so on a specific days he comes and um, assist the surgeon so she wants me to call back and then we'll look at the schedule and we'll That is all that I have for month 4 update. It has been a good month. Till the next time, I want to say thank you all for watching. And we'll see you during the month 5 update.